Hello again, Izzy at Digital Gojo Showrooms. Well, you stepped up your game and you now are working with heavier telephoto or zoom lenses. And you need to get a tripod for it. If this video helps you out, remember to hit us up with a like button underneath and subscribe to our channel for future unboxing sessions and tutorials such as this one. And to share with fellow photographers. And don't forget, when in Miami, visit Digital Goja Showrooms. All right, so let's start out with the compact. This guy is meant to hold no more than three and a half, four pounds. So this will work fine with some of the smaller telephoto zooms that are on the market. And then we step up to the compact action, which holds a little bit more weight and also gives you the capability of working with a pivoting style joystick head for video. And then you can step up if you're working with big massive lenses like something like this, like the 150 to 600, then you can go into something like the Manfrotto 190 Go, which has a lot of weight load capability and with a nice ball head if you're doing stills or switch to a smaller fluid head for video use. Now let's take a closer look and see which lenses will work with which tripod. All right, so here I have a very common Rebel. This is the EOS T6S and a very popular lens, the Canon 70-300 IS USM. Yes, it does have image stabilization, but for some of us that are going to be working with this lens for a long period of time, it really is suggested to use a tripod. And the compact comes into play. This guy attaches very easily and you have full control because it is a ball head, so whatever angle you need to place your camera and your lens, it will stay there by just using the locking mechanism and it's going to stay nice and firm. So that way you can guarantee to get nice clear shots. Now, let's say for example, you're stepping up into something a little bit heavier or you're also gonna be doing video. Let's say for example, going into the 70 to 200 2.8 from Tamron. Let's take a closer look and see which tripod to work with that. All right, so here I have a very popular lens from Tamron, 70 to 200 2.8, and I have it on a Nikon. This is one of the D3200. Again, it's a Nikon mount lens, so it'll go on more popular, smaller DSLRs from Nikon and full frame also. But notice how this guy has a tripod collar, and I put Manfrotto's quick release button right on the button there attach it to the tripod make sure you lock it in place that's very important and now you can actually use this for any kind of long period use as opposed to people thinking well it has image stabilization after five minutes worth of use this lens becomes rather heavy and no matter how much image stabilization you have you're going to run the risk of having blurry images or videos. So putting on a tripod like this, the Manfrotto Compact Action solves that problem for you. Now let's step up into a really big lens, the 150 to 600 format, and see what tripod is recommended for something this large. Now, of course, last but definitely not least, here I have a Sigma 150 to 600. Even though this is not the sports, which is a quite heavy lens, the contemporary is just as bulky and heavy. Yes, it does have image stabilization, but again, let's talk about five minutes or more worth of use. You're going to need to put this on a tripod. So here I have the very popular Manfrotto 190 Go with the ball head system. Notice how, again, this is now put onto the tripod collar. Lock it in place. Very important to make sure this is locked in place and then you can now control it with the corresponding ball head and I can set it to where I prefer and lock it in place and it's nice and secure. This guarantees that you're going to get sharp images whether you are working with a heavier camera or even a huge lens like this, a tripod is going to come in very handy. Happy shooting!